Hey everybody, Marcos Viegas here for Fight Up TV post fight. Golovkin versus Jacobs. Me and John Luther, Joe Cortez in a kind of a controversial night because in both the main event and co-main event, a lot of controversy. People are split on this Golovkin Jacobs main event, and then people are, I want to say, outraged over the Chocolatito result. Let's go ahead and start from bottom up. Choco, how'd you score that fight? Well, I, I thought Chocolatito Gonzalez uh, won the fight, uh, even though he got dropped in the, uh, in the first round. And uh, he got hit with a body shot, nothing that really gave him many difficulties. I mean, he was able to handle himself, even ending up that round. So a strong, good combination. Uh, but he had to catch up a little bit, but I thought he caught up enough to, re to retain his uh, his uh, championship. I thought, I, honest, honestly, I thought he, he won the fight. I thought he won it by at least eight rounds. Wow. Eight rounds to four. So you had him winning comfortably. Yeah, I had him winning. Yeah, you know, he got dropped and that's the last word. I keep, I keep saying, I think I've told you before, until they change that position of the judges, the judges are missing a lot of shots. They got to raise the position of the judges a little bit higher. Like they're doing tennis, bring them up a little higher, if they get better angle, they're going to they're gonna see a lot of more punches. I was hitting a little bit higher today, I saw a lot of those punches being connected. You can't, you can't score what you don't see. Nothing else will happen in that fight. It was so many punches thrown from all different angles. The Chocolatito, to me, connected most of those punches. I mean, it was, it was obvious. I mean, he was the aggressor. He was the aggressor, I would say, 70% of the time. He was throwing uh, flurries of punches. Uh, the, uh, the stats show that he threw a lot. My, my and he meaning, had like 50% of his power 50 punches. 50% of the power punches were landed. So I don't know what, what, what happened there with the judges tonight. But I say, you can't score what you don't see. Like, I'm not saying that the, that the judges are incompetent. I'm just saying that they have to change their position. I've been saying it. Mauricio Suleiman, WBC says, Joe, we're going to do it. In Mexico, we're going to go with your idea. It's called the Cortez 2020. You raise it by my idea. If you bring him up higher, they're going to see a lot better. I did the study. It shows if you raise the angle a little bit more of the judges, they're going to see a lot more punches being connected. And I proved it with my, with my uh, study that I did with, with real professional judges. They all said, Joe, we can see much better for the higher position than we do for the standard position. But I think that something got to be done because controversial decisions like that, we don't need in boxing, with a big black eye from boxing, where you get those kind of bad decisions. Was it a terrible decision? Was it a robbery or was it a competitive fight that should have gone it, to it either was, or? It, it, it was a competitive fight, depending on what angle you were sitting, you're going to see that, you see from different angles. But the majority of the fans you saw and the home viewers, I'm sure, everybody was very disgusted with the decision. You're going to hear about this for a long time to come. I was shocked. I looked over to the people I was seated, uh, press not press row, but a little bit above press row. We had our mouths open like, what the heck happened? But coming into the main event, Gennady Golovkin was an overwhelming favorite in this fight with Daniel Jacobs. Many felt that Danny would not make it past the sixth round at all. He made it all 12. He finally took Gennady to deep waters. A lot of people felt it went Jacobs' way, that he came back midway through the fight. How'd you see it and how'd you score it? Well, you know, I saw Golovkin uh, winning 115-112. Like two of the judges, one judge had it, I think it was 113, 113. Yeah. And uh, so it was a majority decision in favor of Golovkin. I thought uh, Jacobs uh, really uh, stayed in there with him. I thought uh, what Golovkin was putting the pressure on. I, I, I thought that Jacobs, being a, a puncher that he is, and he had a puncher's chance to win. But I said, if he goes to the late round, it's going to be difficult for him. And I think that Golovkin pulled it out by hair. It was very close. close. And uh, Golovkin, you know, uh, knows that he got to raise the bar a little bit if he was to face Canelo. He got, it gives Canelo a little bit more confidence. But you know what? He fought a, a great champion tonight fighting uh, Jacob. So uh, it was a good fight, a good ending. And uh, it was had his uh, good moments in the fight, uh, Jacobs. But at the end, I think it was Golovkin who pulled it out. Coming into that 11th round, I had it a draw. And then I thought Gennady just barely, barely got that last round. But I was really surprised with one thing. It showed to me that Golovkin has trouble with fast counter punching. 
and maybe even someone who's a southpaw. What do you think? Well, I'll tell you, that's not going to be something that Canelo's going to be looking at. Yeah, he is, because Canelo's a counterpuncher. Canelo's a counterpuncher. Canelo's going to come up with those yeah, he punches. Is. He said, if this guy did that to him, I'm going to do the same. You know, but I don't see him being as mobile as Danny. No, exactly. Danny can move around. Yeah. But he, I, I was surprised that he would turn south for. Yeah, I was too. I, I, that I, caught I, me off guard. A good 60% of the time yeah. he was south for. It me got me thinking, you know what? Got me, it got me thinking, man, Sergio Martinez would have given him problems. Because before this, I would have been like, no, Gennady would have walked through Sergio. But then he started doing that, and I'm like, wow, Sergio could have gave him a lot of problems. I, I think I think uh, uh, Bellafield was not expecting that. No. Maybe for half a round or something like some fighters do. But Jacob stuck with his plan. They surprised him. They throw him off, off guard by fighting him southpaw. They, they were not. They're not going to be expecting that. They've been training on the right-handed fighter. When you go southpaw, everything changes. changes all so, but, but he made he made Jacob made it more difficult, but not enough to win the fight. All right, Joe. Thank you so much. It's always great seeing you. Joe Cortez, Marcos Villegas here. Post fight, Golovkin versus Jacobs, where Gennady Golovkin wins a unanimous decision here in Madison Square Garden.